and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the green dragon tincture using the magical butter machine. You'll need to take some decarbed flour. It's recommended that you take anywhere from 14 to 28 grams and place it into your magical butter machine. Now for my tincture, I like to use Everclear. So head to your nearest liquor store, get you a few bottles. And when they give you those side eye looks asking, why do you need all this Everclear? Just tell them, mind their damn business. No, I'm just kidding. Just tell them you're making jungle juice or something. At the time I recorded this video, my other measuring cup was dirty. So I am using a two cup measuring cup here that I'll be filling up twice. So four cups of Everclear in total. After you've got your liquids measured out, you just pour it right on top of your decarbed cannabis. And this is what it looks like, completely submerged in the Everclear. Now you can do more or less quantities of cannabis and Everclear, but you do want to be mindful not to go over that max sign or under the minimum sign that was shown earlier in the video. If you're strapped on time, I suppose you could do the four hour tincture button, but I highly suggest you go ahead and do the eight hours and you wanna set your temperature to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Voila, this is what it looks like eight hours later. It's perfect to just go ahead and set it right before you go to sleep and when you wake up, you have a wonderful tincture waiting. In order to strain this and fully complete this process, take a mesh strainer and top it with some cheesecloth and then just pour it right on over it. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I get everything out of there everything scrape it all out huge emphasis on everything because a lot of that as you see right there holds even more liquid than you could imagine so as you watch me squeeze it through you'll see so much more tincture have come out that you could have potentially missed out on And I mean, it's just so beautiful. Aside from the wonderfully dark color, I mean, we put in four cups of Everclear to begin with, and we ended with four cups of tincture. Let me just brag on that for a second. Now to properly store it, you just pour it into a mason jar and be careful because it is hot. So you want to hold your hand somewhere that it won't get burned. Once you've filled and sealed your mason jars, you can place it into a dark, cool space and enjoy at your convenience. Honestly, with the magical butter machine, the hardest part of this whole process is just you measuring out those ingredients. I do hope this video has been informative and given you the confidence to make your tincture at home. Don't forget to puff puff press that like button and subscribe. You know what? Leave a comment while you're at it. Bye.